Welcome everybody, this is the Urban Watcher and this is Understanding Banished Tips and Tricks. Alright, so I, uh, I created a, a tutorial that is going to discuss uh, the basic uh, explanation of all the tools and how to use them because I think a lot of people in the community, in the Banished community, who are picking up the game don't really understand when and where and they don't understand how you're supposed to self-regulate. So if you're looking for a series to discuss uh, a, good, a good different portions of Banished, you, you've come to the right place. In this video, we are going to be talking about tips and tricks for this game. Today, we're going to discuss the top three killers of cities in Banished, and we're going to talk about the number one question that everybody has, everybody that, that plays this game, is how to keep your cities from dying of old age. So let's this is let's let's get started here. Um, one of the first things. Let me answer the first uh, question here, which is what are the top three killers of most cities in Banished? And number one are is uh, wooden houses. Now let me let me explain what this means. In the beginning uh, of most of the game, you have to make a choice. Uh, whether you want to use wooden houses or stone houses or even this thing called a boarding house and a lot of people tend to ignore that. Well, the reason that people lose their cities uh, in, uh, after maybe 10 days uh, in the game is because wooden houses require four times the amount of stored firewood uh, to, uh, to 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 cool to keep your uh, citizens uh, heated, and you come to a point where you just don't have enough space to produce the amount of wood and firewood to keep up with the demand. And most most people, when they finally understand how to keep the population going and keep them from dying off of of old age, they use these uh, wooden houses as a crutch uh, to to create a population explosion. And uh, then, a couple, you know, probably in year 20, 30, they'll uh, they'll experience a, a sharp decline as your um, your resources. This is an example of your resources not being able to sustain your po uh, your population, and uh, your city will die. All right. The number two reason that uh, that people lose their cities in um, in banished is because they have stupid people. There's some stupid, ignorant fools uh, working for them. And just like any corporation or any company or any city, uh, you're you're only as good as as educated your population is. So in this case, the reason people cities fall. Uh, after a certain number, we're talking about mid-game, is because of inefficiencies. Um, when you have so many processes and activities going on all over your map, you, your, your AI and your people aren't as bright to be able to decide for themselves and, and produce more than that they're actually consuming. And this is because they are working at 60% capacity. And producing a schoolhouse in the first three or four days of your of your game will make sure that you have a, a permanent growing educated population. Okay, so if you're probably wondering why I'm showing you this this uh, little town here, is because this is the first 10 days of my game. I just completed a video earlier that discussed how to survive the first 10 days, and this is the t the first 10 days, and it gives you the foundation for for the format that I use um, to survive. You know, I've survived up to like four or five hundred uh, uh, days in this game. And I've I've had to stop before, so it's 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 uh, this is why we're looking at here, and so I'm telling you that, you know, let's wood houses and undereducated population are the, are top two killers. The top thir three um, reason that people lose their cities in this game is because they don't manage their population correctly. Now, what this means is they they. They are used to civilization, they're used to the RTSs, they're used to very simple early control games where 
where they they're they know immediately to collect all the resources but this game is not just about the reusable or non-renewable resources that you that you collect it also introduces the concept of conservation and and being able to decide when and where in this game you can build everything that you could possibly can from day one and it's up to you as the city builder to decide when to build it and choose not to build it for whatever uh, public uh, community planning reason you may have. So population control is one of those those things that uh, it's it's great to have an explosion of population, but not when you're when you're not when you're not ready. In this game, think of it as a human resource management, because your number one resource are your people. Without your without your people, the resources that you collected are useless. The the food that you've grown uh, is useless. So there's there's a triad in this game, and it's uh, food food production. Um, resource management and human resource management those three together if you treat each one as as a part you will be able to grow your 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 city uh, infinitely I mean as, as big as your map can support right so one uh, this leads me to answering the number one question that everybody has in banished and that's how to keep your people from dying well this is an interesting question okay so your population will uh, populate will begin to uh, um, have intercourse or um, as uh, in if your health is above four stars or four health um, four hearts and your happiness is above above uh, four stars so the way you do that and it's a very complex I know it sounds e it sounds easy but it's not as easy as it seems if you can get maxed out in both of those what that entails is that your population has enough food to feed itself and it's not just food it's food variety you have to have food coming in from multiple sources for them to be happy the other thing is that you you have um, you have uh, medicine and to be able to keep them healthy alive and, and they're warmed and they have a, a house to stay all right so how do I multiply my population well you should always have a 10 percent factor in children so if you have 30 a population of 30 you should have three children at least a 10 percent and then another 10 percent in, in in school so how do you do that well your population will multiply it's very interesting the way i play the game and the way i start from day one i build a boarding house and the entire city uh, actually lives in there and I, I can spend the next 10 days creating stone houses because stone houses are more energy efficient and when we talk about end game we're talking about 600 700 uh, day populations you're gonna be thanking yourself for that well every time you build a house uh, children as they grow up man they want to get out of their house they want to they want to move into their own home find another person and have their own children so every time you put a home the locals that are you know this family has a family of four and it looks like they're all employed so this I'm about ready to go ahead and build more houses and two of these they're gonna move they're gonna get out of the house and start producing their own children and that's how you begin to multiply now that will only happen if all your uh, your basic needs are taken care of in terms of their medicine and their food uh, they will begin multiplying with houses otherwise they're gonna be very inefficient and they're, they're not as likely to uh, produce children now you you that's how you keep your uh, people from dying of old age in this game now okay guys I'm I'm the urban watcher and this is understanding banish this is tips and tricks uh, check back for other videos in future videos we're gonna be talking about community planning resource management food management we're gonna talk about the human side of the human resources talk about AI behavior uh, we're going to rediscuss the the uh, the choice that you have to make between wooden houses, stone houses, and maybe some. For, uh, there's another video that I have that is the last video of the series, and it's how to survive the first ten days, and it's and it's basically a walkthrough. I speed through, and and um, and show you my first ten day build 
and it you see the ups and downs but pretty much most of most of the ups and you'll see how I get to, got to this point in the game and I in 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 my uh, community planning video I will also show you the uh, how to think of the game in terms of an urban planner so if you like this videos please leave a comment thumbs up subscribe I really enjoyed uh, talking to other people who enjoy these type of games so you can find me on Steam Facebook and I'm also on Twitch you can watch my live broadcast on there so guys I really appreciate you for tuning in I'm the Urban Watcher. Thanks for watching.